Hello there, this is Sadie. I hope that you're doing well. We are going to blast through uh, Slug A run today, hopefully. Uh, this ship is pretty good. It's been quite a while since we played this. This was one of the first ships we played on this streak. I think this was run two or three. So, yeah. You do only have two crew, that's its main weakness. You don't have any systems, but you've got you've got three different weapons, that's quite useful. You've got the anti-bio beam to get you crew kills early on. And uh, one of the nice things about this ship, you've got uh, level three weapons already. If you can find a two-shot weapon, like a flak one ideally, or a burst one or whatever, you can just use it immediately. And there's an immediate store. I think we might want to get some scrap before that. Although we could just go there and sell the slug repair gel to uh, buffer our shields. Uh, I prefer on this ship, by the way, with your two crew, to have your second slug on weapons. Because uh, this breach bomb, 9 seconds. You make that 8.1 seconds. And often you'll be able to knock a weapon offline before it even fires. And, you know... Uh, you put the slug here and you're getting 5% extra dodge, but a weapon that doesn't get the fire is always dodged. You could even potentially keep them here and then run them to engines if you're if you have really good micro or you just like pausing a lot. Hmm. There's a whole corner up here that I'm probably not seeing. Greed mode, I could take all three jumps and go to the store. The downside with that is I can't see stuff up here, and what if the store is bad? But on the other hand, if the store is bad, I'm probably still making scrap from it. I think I'll take two jumps and then we'll see how we're doing. Okay, this ship can't hurt me, as long as my shields don't burn down due to the solar flare. I can't hurt it particularly quickly either. I'm going to shoot the beam drone down preemptively, just in case that does happen. And ideally this mini beam as well. Good. And yeah, we can do this without even having to spend any bombs. Obviously the anti-bio beam doesn't do anything here. I suppose we could fire it for weapon skill. Not great scrap. Ooh, possible double reward. Let's aid the civilian ship. Being boarded. We can deal with that relatively easily. Ah, I was just too slow. I think that literally happened because this human was originally on the ship, so they had that manned for a moment. Um, that's quite bad. Okay, they've swapped back to the missile, which does less damage than a heavy laser anyway. Well, at least it does while my shields are down. You go deal with him, you fix that. I may be able to crew kill this ship. They fixed the breach up there though. Ooh! <laughs> Get wrecked, and we get a firebomb, and a double reward. Yeah, that store is, we're definitely going to that store right away. And it's gonna be a good one. Well, I don't know, but at, at minimum we'll be able to get our shields up. And you know, if there's anything useful here. Um, so there's the question of, should I allow myself to be baited into buying long range scanners in exchange for the slug repair gel? 
Do this now, because I'm definitely doing that. There is no universe in which not doing in which not doing that is the correct play here. If we'd had a bajillion scrap, we could have bought, you know, drone recovery armor, drone control, the combat drone, and another combat drone, and that would have been really fun. But there was no way we were ever affording that. So the down the punish if I buy long range scanners is basically what happens if I find I don't know here there's a store I have 50 scrap when I get there and it's got hacking and then I can't buy it and I can't even sell the scanners for it but I suppose the answer to that is I have all of this crap in fact let's see I could sell theoretically this for 25 this for 25 and long range scanners for 15 so the only way I could be I could do myself out of hacking is if we make like no scrap before the next store, which is not terribly likely unless we see the next store really soon. And frankly, if we saw that, I don't think I would go there even if I didn't buy the scanners. I suppose actually that I would on that basis of hmm, being able to sell these for 50. I'm doing it anyway. there is a good chance that this is the wrong play. Okay, there isn't. There's... Buying scanners early is kind of complicated because most of the time it pays off. If you're just thinking about what is the most likely to happen, it will usually pay off. But in the worst case scenarios, which you need to think around at the highest levels of play, it can really screw you over. And there's a good argument to basically say, I could win all of the runs in which I don't buy long-range scanners anyway. But I might not be able to win the one where I do and it goes wrong. Nice, we dodged. We should be able to crew kill this. That rock's not taking any damage from fire, but... We can keep stuff down and the human is taking damage from fire and is about to die. I'm gonna hit him with the bio beam. Could have just let them get a point of repair. Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, the, of course the breach there caused a. By the way, we get a free hull laser, so you know, second run in the row. Actually, we get one of those free early. I can put this in place of the fire bomb because I already have an anti bio beam if I want to use that. So yeah, what I was mentioning about having, about if you get a two-shot laser, you can just immediately use it. You don't need to upgrade your weapons at all. So do I want to chase fights right now? I feel like yes. Like if I go here, I mean, I can go up here, but the only beacon I'm seeing really is that. This is getting taken over. And honestly, I don't think I would want to go here if there was a store. I would have nine scrap plus stuff to sell, and I would need to backtrack. So no, I'm just going to go this way. We are not surrendering to slavers. We may be able to crew kill this, although we might not want to necessarily. They're going to be trying to fix that with a Mantis. Mantises don't exactly fix things quickly. On the other hand, they have a med bay. And a... Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to try to crew kill this. It's exceedingly greedy and potentially not even better. Because this being a slaver, they're guaranteed to give a high reward. As long as I blow the ship up. If I don't blow the ship up, I might get a medium reward in the choice of a crew. Now, admittedly, getting a free NG would be cool here. Get out. Take this nebula jump. Ha! 
Your mind control does nothing. Good. And they can't run. I could spend a breach bomb in order to... Like, I'd need to wait for them to get one point of repair, but theoretically I could then spend a breach bomb to get evade training. But that seems wasteful. I'm sure I will be able to evade train sooner than that. This... Sensor station. Yeah, like, we can... Why evade train at that last fight when we can evade train here? And we'll also be able to weapon train, but... I'll do the evade training first. I guess I might as well shield train while I'm weapon training and I'll see how much skill I get to see whether or not I can be bothered to hang around to get the full shield skill. Like these weapons can, because we can't dodge while we're doing this, it will only happen on turns where like this happens to be firing when my shields aren't ionized, which does not seem like it will be happening too often. On the other hand, they're getting s skill at about the same time, so maybe maybe it's fine. This is the good thing about the anti-bio- another good thing about the anti-bio beam is you can use it to get weapon training in a safe fight. It's very slow, but you can use it to do that. Yeah, I'm actually getting shield skill faster than weapon skill, which I did not foresee happening. I apologize for the dentist drill sounding noise of the beam going off over and over again. That'll be going on for another couple of minutes. Yeah, we actually got shield skill up before weapon skill. Now, that probably won't happen here because this guy already has a little bit of weapon skill. But I guess it doesn't take that long, so I might as well get full shield skill as well this time. Sadly, we won't be able to get these slugs full repair and combat training, because the main way that you can do that is to find a safe ship that's mind-controlling you and you have enough systems. And obviously slugs can't be mind-controlled. If we hypothetically were able to have our slugs be mind-controlled, you could just put one in engines and weapons and let them get hit by the mind control over and over again. But, of course, that is not possible. There's the weapons. Yeah, 
And there we go. So, training complete. Why am I firing at that? I don't really need to do that, but whatever. Give me my map. Of course, this reduces the value of the long-range scanners. Counter-argument to that is that if I didn't have the long-range scanners, I might not have gone to that beacon, but I think I probably would have regardless because of what it sees. How many jumps do I have here? It looks like four. I could get more if I went into the nebula, but I don't know how I would do that. I'm tempted... Let's see, this could be borders with scrap, which is good, or an auto ship fight, which is good. Manually search, we could not risk. And we have to give up a fight to go to it, because like, one option we could do is just go here, here, there, there. We get two fights and two unmarked beacons. If this joined to that, it would be much more convenient. Cause we could we go something like here, here, there, there, there. And we would be able to get five in because two of them would be nebula jumps. But we can't do that. I think I'm... I'm going to pass on this in order to get another fight. Unmarked beacons in civilian sectors are not always that bad anyway. In this case, that one is, but you can often get, you know, fights with pirates that are chasing a civilian or something like that. Okay, this ship can't hurt us. And it can't run away. Of course, it also can't give us more than ten scraps, so... And maybe not even that. Yeah, nine. Investigate the battlefield. Unfortunately, the unmarked beacons this time were quite bad. Well, we'll crew kill this ship easily. Okay, maybe not easily because of that stupid thing, but we will crew kill this thing. Deleted. <laughs> Hi, scrap reward, go. I'm gonna buy that. I can still sell the firebomb for long range, not for long range scanners. I already have those. I can sell the, and I wouldn't want to sell firebomb for that generally anyway. I can sell firebomb for hacking. And that's definitely priority number one since I already have uh... So I'm not currently using my bombs, but I will want to upgrade onto the breach one at some point because these weapons are a bit plodding. I'm gonna give up five. More civilian sectors. Okay, this this beacon sucks. Don't go there. We'll go up through this nebula and attack the pirate.
Three and one. And a whole beam. Cool. That's our third weapon drop of the run. We will attack this ship and crew kill them. More weapon drops. The odds on that are only one in nine, but I've been hitting it a lot. We will attack the ship to try to get to the station. We're not using the anti-bio beam here, since there is no bio on this ship. Little bit of damage, nothing serious. And there won't be any more. Double reward. We now have the option of buying, if we find a store that has cloaking but not hacking, we have the option of buying that. And then we will have one of the two really, really good systems in the game already. We also have the option of upgrading piloting, which is a greedy thing to do, but I mean, you can kind of afford to be greedy when you've had this many drops. I'm doing it. Or greed paying off and look at this This is absurd. Oh really, that's a dead end. That sucks. The other thing that sucks is if I get more weapon drops, I'm gonna actually end up having to overflow and not being able to keep one. The other thing that sucks is that fucking defense drone too. On a ship that has a missile. What are you bringing up first? I didn't know where they were in terms of repairs. If I'd realized that they were that far behind, I probably would have just continued shooting, but I was worried about shooting and then them immediately bringing the missile back. Instead, I kind of facilitated them doing that. But they didn't get to shoot the missile, so it's fine. No, I'm not taking an NG. 
there, there's actually an argument for taking that NG here, even despite the high scrap reward, because I have so much scrap already, and getting an extra crew member who can help fix things could help pre prevent a damage spiral. But I'm going to continue to be very, very greedy. <laughs> We can explore the asteroid field and get some fuel. Cool. This sector layout sucks. There's all these sort of jumps like this and this and this that are dead ends. I'm going ahead because I really want to find a store. Yeah, we, we, we can't actually keep all of this. Let's see, this sells for 22. On the other hand, I might actually want to use this. I don't think so. Nah, the Breach Bomb is better to use for one power, I think. Okay, let's sell. We're definitely never using this, we're definitely never using that. Um, I wonder about getting rid of the Anti-Bio Beam now. Like, I could be using, like, something like this at the end, which is reasonable, blah, but it's, it's reasonable. Um... Do I want to keep this to continue to try to get crew kills? We just bought hacking. If I want to get crew kills, I can just hack O2 and breach bomb or something like that. Let's get rid of that. And put this on the bar just in case I get the beam blue option, although that's not too common. We possibly have a second store here, we possibly have a second store here, or it could have been here. I can't, I can never see this, and this is just a 50-50, so I might as well go I hope it's here, because this has the most favorable jump leading up to it. Assholes are running away, and I can't really shoot weapons again at the moment because uh, I need to stop them fleeing. Good, I pulled their pilot. Shoot the empty hole. Victory! I didn't find the other store, but I will go get a fight, and then I can backtrack and leave the sector. Uh, no, we're not accepting your offer. Oh, come on.
I was hoping we could get a fire or a breach in there and then crew kill, but it looks like it's too late for that to happen. Not yet. check if there's an immediate store, which there is, and I have to go there, so I'm glad I saved my scrap. Okay, well, no cloaking, sadly. Buy all the fuel. I want to upgrade my weapons now. Like, these two against level, uh, against two shield bubbles, it's not really that good. Like, it's okay, but the whole laser is quite slow. And I want to have the breach bomb as uh, a bit of security. We will be back to being able to afford cloaking quite soon. In fact, we could afford cloaking right now by selling some stuff. It's just I would rather not. Let's not risk bad things happening. Let's just use my drones. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that I wanted to get the Breach Bomb online for. In case of a lot of misses on volley number one. And apparently volley number two as well. I swapped that around just in case they, uh, they bomb me in weapons. Because if they're going to bomb you in weapons and you've got a one-power missile-based weapon, it's often good to make sure that stays online so you can continue to damage them, whereas your laser weapons are usually reliant on each other, so like neither of these on their own can do anything. The Breach Bomb can do stuff without any help whatsoever. However, I don't want to use that many of them. Oh, come on. This fucking pilot is an asshole. Can I... dislodge him? Apparently, I didn't even need to because they're both running to the med bay. They often decide to do that after they fix a breach. Yes, go fix the breach that I just left in your empty hole. Your offer sucks, and I will not accept it. Let's go and fight near the solar flare. Recharge my shield. Thank you. Good. Go recharge my shields again. Hooray!
the oxygen refill as much as we can and jump before that hits. These guys are running away. I do not like your double drone setup. I'm going to hack it. That's a lot of drone power. Good. No fleeing. Don't want to use any more bombs. This would be a good training fight if I hadn't already had one of those. Use the beam, I guess. They can't dodge ever again, so... Doesn't make a difference, really. It's two volleys. Either way, I suppose I should have just kept the laser on. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I still have enough that I can sell. And, like, the nearest I can see a store is here or here, and I have lots of jumps I can get before that. Get the storage cache. Okay, I was gonna say I don't need to hack here, but then I did that. Right back at you. Hopefully, I don't need to use a breach bomb here. And I don't. So, we'll shoot their hack next. No double reward, but we see a lot of fights. Um, like, we could go here to try to get a piling blue option, but that doesn't see any jumps. This does, this does. So yeah, we're going this way. Probably not going to that fight, since that doesn't see anything that I'm not going to already have seen here. Oh, this is in the nebula. It didn't look like it, but... Ha ha! Hopefully we don't need to hack this. And we don't need to use any more bombs. I'm hoping in the not-too-distant future to go to Weapons 5, and then I'll probably run another whole laser, and I'll keep the Breach Bomb on my bar. But I want to make sure I can afford cloaking without selling anything before I do that. On double reward. Yay! More fights. But yeah, this 
this beacon sees the most unmarked beacons. So. We may have missed stores, of course, because there's some up here that we didn't see. I think that beacon. Did we? I can't remember exactly what path we took to get. Did we start, like, here? I think these beacons up there we didn't see. Outpost. We definitely want to hack because they're cloaking. Oh, you asshole, you kept weapon up that's actually dangerous. I don't know why I did that, that wouldn't have taken it offline anyway. God damn it. Stupid Artemis. I'll go and fix that. Good. We kill on the next volley. So yeah, enemies like this are why I want another laser online. This offense is a bit sluggish, which is kind of appropriate given what ship we're playing, but... Quite a few interesting things here. It's been a long time since I've had a good Heavy Laser 2 run, but I don't think this is the time to buy it. This is the time to buy a cheap transition weapon, but let's take a quick look. Okay, I haven't seen another store. I could buy Mind Control. The problem is, there could literally be another store, like, here. Most fights I want to go like this, but I have the option to use the Breach Bomb in a more dangerous fight. Let's get repairs to... well, almost full, and keep going. No, we need our supplies. Damn it. Attack the auto ship, try to get to the sensor station. Here I want the breach bomb. They've got a big missile. They're an auto ship, they're very vulnerable to breaches. Good. We win. This will give us a map, which isn't terribly useful since, you know, we're about to leave the sector anyway. The only beacon we could see is one that we're going to be able to see anyway once we get to the exit, since we have scanners. Okay, there is another store there, but we would have to dive to get to it, and I don't feel a need to do that. Like, there might not be cloaking there, and then we have to spend money on upgrades to our engines and stuff. Go slug. There are more stores there.
God damn it. Take a quick look now, so let's buy all the fuel. Worried about the worrying radiation event. It's not too likely to be a huge issue. It's mostly if they have mind control, which is not that probable this early. I think I'm gonna do this. And that in case I need to run away. So yeah, now I can use all four of my weapons. I have plenty of opportunity to farm scrap before I see another store. Glad I have that other weapon online for this fight. Okay, this is guaranteed to be three shield bubbles without the uh, the buffer upgrade. They can never have three and the buffer upgrade, except I think certain slug class ships actually can, which is something worth considering since we're in the slug sector. But you know, this is a mantis ship. So that looks like a crew kill to me. Because you're gonna warp back in a second, and then I'm gonna shoot your teleport. Cool. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, here's this event. They don't have mind control, so I can just vent the idiots. I want to hack that big missile. This is a guaranteed high scrap reward, so that's very nice. Why am I not powering my breach bomb? Fired the dual lasers at the wrong system, but it's kind of working out. Here, go and fight these two now. They are wounded, and you aren't. Just leave these two here to heal after the fight. Very nice. enough to take one more fight and then go back there. I don't even need to waste jumps to do it because I can go here, there, and that connects. We will attack. And we will hack. I would have preferred to wait for those two to be able to fire and then split them up with the charge two. The problem is the charge two could have fired at two points of charge and then they would have all lined up. And I have no way of knowing in advance which they're going to do. Here, put another breach in that system. Good. We can probably crew kill this then if we're patient. No, they're not fixing this. <laughs> you have no med bay. Welcome aboard, silly Zolta. Punch the Zolta. 
He has few hit points. Cool. Damn it. This ship is gross. Could you kindly stop dodging my breach bombs? No. Want me to accept a surrender offer for fucking 13 scrap? Are you insane? Nice. Oh, we had a breach in their shields room or something that killed them. I did not even know about that. That's the only explanation I can think of for why that guy in shields died. I mean, I obviously... Sh no, I'm not giving up missile. I obviously shot the other as well. Okay, well that's all three stores in this sector that we've seen, and none of them had cloaking. Um, let's see. I could buy... This makes cloaking more likely to appear. So does this, but it makes me less likely to be able to afford cloaking. I mean, I don't know what's in the rest of the sector. I'll get at least one fight. I think I'm buying this. I think I'm passing on mind control. Or should I? I still wouldn't be at system limit if I buy mind control, I don't think, because we don't have sensors. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we would only be at ten. You need to be at eleven to make systems less likely to show up. Not that you would know that from this sector. Um, but the question is, this puts me at twenty-four scrap. Like that's a lot of scrap. I need to get back. I'm, I'm just gonna. Do it. But I'm not sure that that's better. Okay, it's one of these events. Also, this this event, as you can see, can spawn... It normally isn't possible for a fight to spawn with only beam weapons, but because this has a forced um, fire weapon, they force the fire beam into that slot. So we're obviously completely fine to counter the hacking here. Since this ship can't hurt me, there is no reason to waste on any resources in it. Also, this specific event, we can't uh, get a better reward by killing them, so even though they're a coffin ship, we'll just blow them up. It's a shame that we can't, because this would obviously be a ridiculously easy crew kill. Tap the calm frequency. 
Yeah, unfortunately, there don't seem to be very many fights in the later part of this sector. Okay, well, I guess there's this. This is another one where if we could kill it, it doesn't do anything. However, they do have a firebomb, and we have no door control, so we need to be wary of that. Good, that's a flying. Start shooting those shields. them with our long-range scanner. You're in good possession to get vented out. Good. me again because of them splitting up. So let's just knock that offline. Now I do want to kill you, obviously. Yeah. Oh, that door was already broken, so you went through. Whatever. Get vented, Ken. Ken! I told you to get vented! sector. Okay, this is the slug cash quest, which is generally quite good. Now, if we go to it, we're not seeing these beacons down here. We can go here, here, there, and still see most of these, but there's three that we miss. If we go this way, we can go what, one, two, three, four, and see this, so I think that's better, even though it kind of sucks. Give me free stuff.
醋。to get my weapons up to six so I could do this. But that takes me well away from affording cloaking, so I want to see first of all what's here before I make any spending decisions. Yeah. For God's sake, where's cloaking? Buy a human. I could use a little bit more crew at this point. Guess I'll buy you. I can still buy cloaking by selling multiple things, even if I see it having made no scrap at all, which should not be happening because we have fights to go to. My control the idiot in weapons. Good. Notice that this ship has nothing mantises on it, that's very unusual. Yeah, 
these stores don't offer me cloaking, I have to upgrade my weapons, because they're a little bit weak against three shield bubbles, and I'm not going to have bombs reliably. Go indoors. By the way, I got the crew kill there on the slaver. That was the best outcome you get. Instead of getting... You get a 1 in 3 chance of a high scrap reward with resources, which is the same as blowing the ship up. 1 in 3 of medium scrap, and you get to choose between a mantis, a rock, and an NG. And there we got the best, which is high scrap reward and a random crew member. And on top of all that, we got an NG, which is the type of crew member I most would have wanted. So, I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to go to this store first. Hooray! We finally get it. Fuel. Okay, this causes us to miss the nebula, but whatever. No. Okay, we should be able to grind out a crew kill here as long as we are reasonably patient. Mind control. Although these rocks take so long to lumber across the ship. Well, you should die next time. But it's killing the Angie that's the most critical thing. I can make it more likely by spending bombs, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. However, here I am going to use my getting down. Get a breach. This is a little annoying. Rock will now get back up to 150 hit points and will take forever to get into that room when I mind control the human. But it's fine. We have them caught in a spiral which they cannot repair from unless we let it. Because we're going to let them repair one so that when I mind control the human, they actually run in there instead of, as opposed to the person who's mind controlled running out of the room. But, uh,. Yeah, it takes 20 seconds for this human to fix anything. 25 seconds for this human to fix anything in the locked door, in the locked room. And it only takes 20 seconds for my mind control to come off and hold up. So, there is no chance of them fixing their weapons as long as I am, you know, paying attention. Yeah, I would prefer to be mind controlling the rock because the, we waste a lot of the time on this just waiting for the rock to get down there. don't want to shoot at that room because I feel certain that he's going to break through the doors as soon as I do that. So let's instead shoot at them as soon as they go into bed back. Do I want to 
want that. We eat scrap, but on the other hand, that's quite a good surrender offer, and it is a nice insurance against uh, scratch damage. Yeah, I'll sure, I'll take it. I might well sell it at the next store, but... It only eats scrap if you aren't at full hull, which uh, we can probably be at full hull most or all of the time. Once we get back up there. That hopper beam can't do anything to me. Yeah, this is a situation, if this weren't a solar flare, we could let this mind control hit our NG and our human over and over and over again, and we could get max repair and combat training. I suppose there's some minor danger here because, uh, the solar flare could set my shields on fire and then the hopper beam could hurt me. That's not a risk anymore. Do we have two jumps here or just one? Just one. I mean, I'm willing to dive at this point, but I'm not willing to dive just to go to a distress beacon when I could go to the exit beat, when it costs me whatever is at the exit beat. be able to curkill kill this as well. So that's annoying. Here, could you please kill that? Good job. Human who learns fastest goes in shields. NG who already has engine skill goes in engines. NG who doesn't have engine skill but has gold repair skill goes in doors. Okay, now we can start working on getting uh, another weapon uh, online and putting this breach bomb or ion blast away depending on how I feel. And how many missiles I have. No, we already have something on our ship that eats scrap in turn for repairs. These are both pretty good options, because we have long-range scanners. Rebel is probably more dangerous. Yeah, let's go Nebula. Gonna be a next time. This is 
is an awkward spot. Call from flat. You don't quite have a hundred percent of aid, but we're close to it. Uh, yes, come on over. pulled my shields down there to buy more time for when the missile did its hit detection. It had a slight risk in terms of this laser. And I may not have needed to do it, but it all worked out fine. Nice. Uh, never mind, then you're gonna take over shields. You go back to engines, you go back to doors, and you can just be roaming repair IG. And there's no point upgrading to get 100% cloak of aid yet because I don't have max level evasion. I should look out for a training opportunity, I suppose. We can probably create one with the breach weapon against an auto ship. Uh, this is definitely not one. Even if they weren't running, this would not be one, at least not easily. Okay, no flame. I do not want my stuff getting ionized. I am fairly safe against these two as long as I have two shield bubbles. But if something gets ionized, I could drop down to one or fewer, and then I'm in some danger. I could theoretically get training here, but... If I can get a breach and leave just a combat drop, then I can train. But they unfortunately kept the wrong drop. It wouldn't have been 100% safe to train anyway, so I couldn't have turned speed hack on. Combat drones can't often get through, you know, three shield, uh, two shield bubbles rather on their own, but they can line three fast shots up. So you always have to watch if you're going to use that for training. Uh, let's take this. We have the pilot in the blue option it becomes available, which it doesn't. Give me a breach weapon. Never mind. On the other hand, a laser can also cause breaches. Now. While we're doing it, can we maybe... Eh. I could 
outside the range that are allowed. I'm not cross training everyone for this one. Oh, for God's sake, I hit the wrong goddamn key, and then I wanted to take the fight. And then we got the bad outcome from hitting the wrong key. How fucking annoying. I'm gonna keep the breach bomb on my bar for the moment. Fleet Pursuit doubling doesn't really matter that much. They're kind of ahead of the Fleet Pursuit anyway. Four hull lasers and none of them do breaches. That does. early four shield bubble ship, and quite a strong one at that. Watch, and if our shields ever get down fully, we need to close them. I want to save for stores now. We want consumables. It would be nice to have a weapon that's better than these stupid all lasers. There are potentially augments we could get. There are good things available to us. We will attack the auto ship. Fuck out of those nasty weapons. Should have let them fire that back in this play. But it's fine. Let's not use any more bombs. Oh, 
Many, many volleys. I think Hull Laser 1 is possibly the most mid weapon in the game. Like, it's, it's okay, but it really... You know, it's two extra shots. You can't hate it. But... It really isn't, like, good. Let's go look for stores. You could hire a cheap old, but I really don't see the need. We got one for free, and that's as cheap as it gets. What's your specialty? No, we don't need max level piloting when we have a slug pilot. Download the data stores. I honestly would have preferred a fight. I could sell all these missiles and move over to using the ion, but I don't want to do that. The breach bomb is pretty good. Um, abandoned is better scrap. Now, Abandoned 7 is quite spooky, but uh, it's fine. So are we. Since there is no store immediately, we're going to upgrade our weapons and do this for the moment. Now, although I'm fairly confident in myself, I'm not going to go into a pulsar because that would be cocky. Pull beam, go! I maybe should have accepted that since I only have two fuel. It's only three though, I could get that anyway. I didn't, but I could have. Nice. So my whole beam didn't hit everything properly, but it's fine. I uh, actually should have accepted that, because I might not get any fuel again here. But it was a really, really bad surrender. We got one, that's good enough. This doesn't advance to me through the sector, so there is some risk in going to that, but I'm gonna do it anyway, I should be able to get fuel here. Scan for life forms, cool. Right back at you, Lanius friend.
If I want the cloak hack cycle properly, I had to wait there. Which sucks. <laughs> Maybe crew killed us. Uh, never mind. This will break down into 25 scrap, and of course we get a bunch of scrap and a bunch of fuel. Do that. We have plenty of stuff to sell after the store. Really all we would want now are better weapons. stores in this sector. Hopefully we can find at least one of them. We don't seem to be having much luck. You wouldn't have thought we had long-range scanners. What we're seeing. Okay, there it is. Well, there's one of them. Go here to see if there's another one at that spot. I don't care if you punch at my weapons. You could damage them once or twice, I'm not taking whole damage, and you'll run into the med bay once one of those guys dies. You can let this NG fix his, uh, get his repair training up. Come on in. They try to basically concentrate their crew in a room if they can, it's just they couldn't put a fourth person in there because that's only a three-tile room. There's a fight, but I want to try the store. Okay, there's a heavy laser one. Get rid of the repair room at this point, I don't need it. <laughs> Heavy laser one is not really what I'm looking for. Like, it's marginally better than the whole laser one. I've already upgraded my weapons to use... ...these. We'll look for a second store, and if there isn't one, that's fine. We can we can go with this. It's just it's not very good. The charge laser laser charger is like kind of a marginal upgrade, except we have two of these fucking things, so speeding my volley up doesn't help me that much. And the laser charger can't set fires in the same way that this stupid weapon can't set fires. Should I go here just to see? Yeah, we'll have we'll dive past the exit after, but like this just gives us another chance to see a store. Um, I wish I could look at the map to see if there's another store. We're just gonna keep our stuff. Yeah, like if I'd seen that, I would have taken that trade. 
Okay, there's no weapons here either, so we're going with what we've got. Fine. One, two... I want more fuel in case we need it. I don't think we do, but... This setup is not good at getting crew kills, unfortunately. <laughs> Get out of here. Getting there. Hopefully, we can get to this repair station. Take one jump. <laughs> it's okay, good girl. No idea what on earth my other half has done that has wound the dog up, but <laughs> it's obviously something fairly significant. <laughs> One moment. Okay, Carissa is worried about the tape measure. Whenever my wife gets that out, she decides to start barking her head off at it. And in this case, she heard it from the other room. So she decided to go tell the tape measure who is boss. 
Let's plug this whistle. And now we have to wait because Cloak acts like one. Okay, good. Fight is now completely safe. Hack these down just because we can. Particularly annoying, in fact, because of that. got a fucking good ball in. Get yeah, hack on my med bay and then a boarding drone is kind of difficult for me to deal with right now. Okay. That's kind of cute. Again, at a point, if I could find a store, I could sell that. It sells for quite a lot of scrap. If I had still had the repair arm, it would have fixed that point of damage. On the other hand, it would have cost me quite a lot of scrap to do that. And I may still be able to get to this repair station. Attack and escape. I think I want to actually have the two hull lasers at the front just because they're not arriving at the correct time. beam, I think, because my uh, whole laser shots have not been arriving together. If I fire them like this, the whole lasers are mostly popping shields, but that's fine. The whole lasers can't set fires, and the dual lasers can. 
I've mostly been trying to use the hull lasers up to this point because I feel like I've fought so many auto ships in this run that being able to get hull breaches has been more advantageous. <laughs> Pull them out with my control. Yeah, the setup doesn't exactly kill things quickly, but it does kill them. It'll be much better against the flagship because the flagship is particularly susceptible to the whole beam. Okay, cool. We can fix this unsightly bit of damage. Um, power bar. Get that buffered and that buffered. So we might get missile to do to that. Not a great deal we can do about it. Okay, sure thing. Great hack. Of course it doesn't help. Yeah, that first one, I suppose that wasn't twice at 10%, because their first missile at 10% hit our backup battery, causing our... our, um... our evade to go down. Fine, well played. Just do this so that goes offline and doesn't happen again. Ship up with the whole beam. What an asshole. Repair arm, come back. Not really. So we did end up actually using that that setup I mentioned way back. These are all the weapons that dropped in the first couple sectors.
Oh, we don't even need to do the hacking bypass trick here because we have that defense scramble that dropped. Ah, oh, take that. You two, please kill each other. Damn it, I was trying to time side room bug kills there with my all beam, but that's hard to do without knowing when they're going to bust through the doors. Let's upgrade my doors up to max. We're going to have a fair number of orders here since, well, these weapons don't really do crew kills much. Do this in case we need to do a runaway r maneuver, although I very seriously doubt it. And that's a good room for you to go to. Go in here and let's just make sure that you're not gonna somehow depower my weapons and hear that nonsense. Later, you have the lowest charge time, so let's use you to pop what's left. Vent this stuff. Raging for a place. Cut that out. we win. Not the absolute cleanest flagship fight ever, but whatever. For a fairly mediocre weapon setup, I'm quite happy with that. Decent, but not great score. So, who's next? 3, 2, 1. I don't think we have done Fede on this second bit of the streak. Don't know that we've done any of the Fed ships. No, we have indeed not done any of the Fed ships, so we'll be doing Fede next time out. I hope you enjoyed the run, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now! <laughs>